Now I want to talk about braying with you. Yes. It would be horrible not to. What are you braying this weekend? It's a long weekend. Today I'm braying societies, curry societies. Mm -hmm. I, I love curry. I think it's like coffee. You can never have enough of it. So today it will actually, they've already been made on Monday. So I think they will be nicely marinated. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start this long weekend by going to the Moedernas Karoo. And there, there's a lot of space to braai, and there are lots of rocks to rest your bride with on. Mm -hmm. So this will be fantastic. That will be today. And then I will also do like a curry. As you can see, I'm craving curry at the moment. I can like see a that. Phase because tomorrow will be a curry poiki. Because uh, some of my friends and family will only arrive tomorrow, and none of them exactly know what time they'll be there. So I think a curry poiki is nice because it can stand there, and whenever people arrive, they can eat from it. Now, what's your favorite meal to braai ever? Oh, that's a loaded question. I know. Um, I don't discriminate against animals, so I eat all of them. Uh, I love lamb loin chops. In terms of beef at the moment, I don't actually braai whole steaks at home very often. What I do is I buy the steaks and then I chop them up or put them through the mincer and make like pure steak patties and braai those medium rare and that's make nice. like proper burgers. Um, in terms of chicken, usually curry poikis. In terms of pork, I like the ribs uh, to just do them with like a sweet and sticky sauce. And of course, the neck is fantastic to make again curries with and, and to make like almost like a prego roll, but with, a, with pork neck. In terms of fish, in Cape Town, there's a lot of very good priced, same day caught uh, angel fish in the shops at the moment. So I do a lot of angel fish. You can braai it as is. And then also like to smoke it with uh, rooibos tea. Obviously, you take the tea out of the bag before. Yeah. Yum, that all sounds so good. What's your favorite dessert to make on the braai? Definitely malfa pudding. I think a malfa pudding is actually better when you make it in a poiki on the braai. And then I've recently developed a chocolate fondant uh, recipe that also works very well in a poiki on the braai. So usually I do like sweet baked desserts mm -hmm. in poikis on the fire. If you just want to braai something as is on the grid, what always works very well is fruit. So something like slices of, of uh, pineapple oh, yeah. or half peaches or half apricots. And then obviously the heat from the coals just caramelizes the sugar in these fruits. And then you serve it with some cream fraiche or ice cream. Yeah. Why do you think malva pudding on the braai is better than malva pudding in the oven? Because you do it in a poiki and the unique flavors and, and textures that uh, a cast iron pot adds. So it's like you could also probably do it in a Dutch oven if you're from, let's say, not South Africa and you don't have access to a real poiki. Yeah. For me, it, it just becomes slightly more crisp and caramelized on the sides uh, without actually burning. Now, what's your, I guess, most notable at the moment beer and braai meal pairing? Wow. I love a poiki made, so say you're doing an oxtail, then you can add some stout beer, so uh, Guinness or Castle Milk Stout or whatever, and uh, mushrooms. So essentially you're using the classic flavor combination of a steak and Guinness pie, and you're doing like an oxtail or short rib poiki with that. In terms of, of pairing, I'm in the process of developing the Jan Braai craft beer to be launched, let's say, June, July in time for for summer of 2016. So then I'll be back for an interview. Yes, and then we definitely. can just talk beer. And we can maybe even do a live tasting, the two of us. Yes, let's do that. Yeah, What's the process of developing your own beer? It involves quite a bit of tasting because obviously <laughs> <laughs> you need to figure out what flavor profile you like. Mm. So that's obviously one of the tough parts of the job. But Africa is a tough place. Yeah, exactly. It's hard to live here, especially for you, it sounds yeah. like. <laughs> and then I think uh, for any meat, especially pork and beef, uh, you can do a very nice beer reduction. So if you take some beer or, or first saute some onions, add beer, reduce that, and then maybe a bit of stock, then you've got a nice sauce that you can serve with almost anything.